Classrooms without electricity or furniture, bathrooms without functioning toilets, non-working libraries, this is the situation of Venezuela's universities because of a lack of government funding. Students want to protest these conditions but are hesitant to do so. Everything is uncertain. We don't have a base or a leader to support. After the last year, nothing motivates me. It's disappointing. Every student is discouraged because when we protest, nothing changes. There is no change. Last year, Venezuelan students took to the streets a number of times to protest against the government of President Nicolás Maduro. His rule has been challenged by opposition leader Juan Guaidó, who has been recognized as Venezuela's interim president by the United States and more than 50 countries. But Maduro has managed to stay in power, despite domestic and international pressure. So as 2020 begins, students see an uncertain political environment. The conditions for the protests are not given, especially the opposition leaders. They are divided. The political and economic crisis in Venezuela has left the oil-rich nation in one of its worst economic situations in its history. More than 4 million Venezuelans have fled their country since 2015, according to the United Nations, among them educators and students. The situation for teachers in the country is really dire. Our salaries is not enough to cover our necessities. It's not only the salary, our schools are deteriorating. Students don't have desks. The reality of being a teacher in Venezuela is totally chaotic. The Maduro government insists that high-level education is one of its priorities, but this year the Ministry of Education's allocation did not exceed 10 percent of what universities requested to continue operating. Some students are now decidedly apolitical saying they no longer identify with either political party. We are living in oppression. If we raise our voice, they call us traitors. No one wants to go to prison. No one wants to be deprived of his or her freedom. We are seeing many injustices right now. Last year, the heads of 11 Venezuelan universities issued a statement saying that 2019 was the most difficult economic and logistical year for universities. Meanwhile, Many students are hesitant to demand more, afraid they will be jailed for expressing their discontent. For Adriana Núñez Rabascal in Caracas, Venezuela, Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News, Washington.